Glen Arbor Golf Course in Nova Scotia is a true Canadian gem. The name is taken from Scotland, where it means a valley of trees. This valley is only minutes from Canada's famous Atlantic coast. It's just a 15-minute drive north from the province's capital city of Halifax, which has helped make it a favourite with this famous port's many golfers and plenty of visitors too. Tricky bent grass greens, elevation changes and plenty of natural hazards make this a scenic and popular course with a hard-earned reputation for being immaculate. But it came from humble beginnings. This land was actually bought back in the late 30s. Uh, for the, they were looking for poplar trees to make crates and it was bought at a sheriff's sale for, if I told you it was a buck, so it was bought for a dollar. It was held in the family for after the poplar trees were taken off it, so it was held for, I guess, 50 or 60 years. Currently, one of my bosses, who, who was with the company back then, felt that a golf development, residential development would work, so he, uh, he procured uh, Graham Cook, a Canadian amateur golfer and uh, uh, a golf course architect, to come in. and. Uh, the ownership group had several large parcels of land and they just went around the HRM, Halifax Regional Municipality, looking at land. And uh, eventually uh, Graham saw it, walked it and said, this is the piece. The process started in 94, 95, and by 90, late 96 it actually started construction. It opened nearly three years later. It was designed to be as playable as possible for average golfers. So at just 6,800 yards, it might not be the longest course in Nova Scotia, but Glen Arbor's recognized as one of the best in the area. We'd like to say our conditioning is, is better. Uh, we're newer than most, even though we're 14 years old, there hasn't been a whole lot of new golf property or golf product uh, that's opened in the last couple of years. Uh, our conditioning, like I said, is, is pretty solid. Uh, it's a neat piece of property. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of memorable golf holes. Uh, I had a guy tell me the other day, asked me what our uh, number one hole was, and uh, it's really hard to say. We've got some very good, scenic, uh, well-designed golf, uh, golf holes. Many courses in Canada suffer badly from harsh winters, but that's not such a problem in Nova Scotia. We're more of a temperate climate than it would be in other parts of Canada, so. As far as overwintering the golf course, we probably deal more with ice than anything else. We open uh, early May and, and close normally the end of October. Uh, there are courses around Nova Scotia that open earlier and stay open later, but with the, uh, the clientele that we're trying to appeal to, that seems to be the right, uh, the right mix. Mother Nature has still caused problems for Glen Arbor, though, as has the economic downturn. Last year was a terrible year in Nova Scotia because of the weather. People got off to a very uh, wet, cold spring and people found other things to do. So everybody had a less than, uh, less than good year. Uh, this year now the weather has been exceptional and, and we've seen some growth, but we aren't seeing growth in new players in the game and I think that's a problem right across the world. Glen Arbor has tried to increase the sport's appeal by hosting world-class events, including the LPGA Tour in 2005 and the TELUS World Skins game. We've always felt that we want to be relevant in the world of golf in Nova Scotia, so uh, by doing this, it just elevates our position in the local market, you know, as the, uh, the must-play facility uh, in a very competitive golf market, so it's all about relevancy. The motto for staff here is that the experience must exceed their customers' expectations, so there's little doubt Glen Arbor will remain relevant for a long time.